If you are a, a boxer, how do you maintain steadfastness in being a boxer, a champion boxer? You continuously train. Yeah. You continuously work. One of the things that you do is you connect with the Ahlul Bayt through visit, the visitation of their shrines. Ziyara is critical. There's a reason why traditions have encouraged us to visit the Ahlul Bayt, Imam Al Hussein in particular, but every member of the Ahlul Bayt as often as we could. To the extent that the hadith says that if you're rich, you should visit Imam Al Hussein twice a year. And if you're poor, you should visit him at least once a year. Sometimes I meet people who say, have you been to Ziyara? And they'll say no. And I say to them, but it's been 20 years since the regime in Iraq fell. You could have easily gone by now. And they say, well, you know, financial problems, this, that. And I say to them, when somebody's father dies, at least they try to visit their grave once a year. No? This is Aba Abdullah al Hussein we're talking about. Not even once a year, not even once a decade. Ziyara is critical, right? In Ziyara, your beliefs are solidified. Your religious practice is renovated, as the, as the, uh, in, the in the Fadakiya sermon, Fatima uh, Zahra alayhi salatu was salam. She speaks about Hajj and she says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made Hajj, listen carefully to this, Tashyidan Liddeen. Tashyid is when you, when you renovate a building that's about to fall apart, but you solidify it. You give it the enforcements that it needs to stand upright. Hajj and Ziyara does that to our belief and to our practice and to our religious uh, affiliation. Ziyara is important. Majalis are absolutely critical, classes are important. In other words, this has to turn into a lifestyle. It's not an occasional pastime, but a lifestyle.